Hey everyone, something a little different today. This is a continuation of a video I made a few weeks back on Maker Online. Also, I got a new ultra-wide monitor, uh, the Samsung 34-inch G8 OLED. So let me know what you think about the wide aspect ratio, and if you hate it, uh, let me know so I can change it back. Um, so Maker Online has another contest up with a top prize of $350, store credit. And I feel a little weird about joining this one. And the reason is because they used my models for the banner, which I'm 100% cool with because they asked for my permission and they are giving me credit and hopefully that'll lead to more exposure for my brand. But I do still find it weird to enter a contest where my models are, let's say for the lack of a better word, the standard that they're looking for. Also, they put this volcano, which I still feel a little iffy about. And let me explain why. So the volcano was part of my Draconian Miniatures chess set, and it was the only model I printed with FDM. And it's because I, I had this idea, a gimmick really, of making it out of a translucent material where you can add a balloon light and it'll light up. So this is what it looks like painted, and this is what it looks like with the light inside, which, you know, it was just an idea I had, and I think it worked out pretty well. But the only translucent material I had was uh, a filament, like PLA filament. So I printed it out in FDM. And while I was making the Draconian set, Annie Cubic had another contest, which um, they're deciding the winners right now. Hopefully I'll place in that one too. And it was for resin models, so I didn't enter the volcano. And any model you upload to Maker Online, you can only enter in one contest. So all of the other Draconian models were entered into that contest, including the Draconian Queen, which is seen here. But because I printed the Volcano in FDM, I didn't enter it into the contest, which means I can enter the Volcano into this board game contest, of which it's on the front banner of, which is super weird, right? But of course I'm gonna enter it into it anyway, because I think it's kind of funny. And the real reason I'm making this video is to show you that I am essentially practicing what I preach. My main goal of this channel is to educate people in Blender so you can make your own models. And contests like these are a good motivation for you to actually work on a model and upload it for other people to enjoy. Even if you think they're not that good. Like this volcano, originally I thought it was really dumb. My chess sets have rooks that look like towers. And to make this volcano fit into a one inch base, but also be taller than the ponds, it just looked too tall and skinny for me. But the people over at Maker Online thought it was good enough to put on their banner. So my point is, you never know. I'm also entering this mushroom soldier, which I'm calling the Mycorians. Uh, and that's going to be my new chess set that I'm working on. So if you're interested in downloading this guy for free, there will be a link to that model in the description below. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video real quick just to show you that learning Blender can lead to tangible and meaningful rewards. And if you watch my last video on Maker Online, I was at 1,207 points. And in one month, I am now at 5,145 points. And every 1,000 points is good for $50. So I pretty much made $200 in one month just for doing what I've always done, uploading models for people to download for free. But if you're interested in staying up to date with what I come up with next, and if you want to support me and get access to exclusive models, I do have a Patreon, so check me out on there to learn more. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.